Clarence, we're sitting in what looks like your office, but actually has been carefully constructed in the yeah. exhibition about your work, um, The Way We Live Now. And it takes us through your own education at the Central School. It looks at the things that you made with your own hands, um, out of cane and welded metal. It looks at the habitat period, your many design studios. I hope what they'll see from the exhibition generally is an attitude about easy living, a lack of formality, a lack of pretentiousness. It's what I try to achieve in my design life. Simple, useful, and plain, never goes out of style. Yeah. Well, you've always said that given the choice, people will prefer the better of the two options. Yes. And so, you know, what I've tried to do is show people how they can make that choice. What's the most difficult thing you've had to design? Oh, gosh. Everything is difficult. It really much depends on the client, whether they are making things easy for you, whether the factories are able to understand that your designs are worthwhile. You've always said that if you don't know how to make it, you can't design it. Very much so. What was in your mind when you started the Design Museum? What were you trying to achieve with it? I'd always thought there was an opportunity for a place where designers could see what was going on in the world. I'd been enormously impressed by going to Milan to see the Triennale exhibitions, a big impact on me. And yet you could never see anything, any contemporary design in the UK. And so I thought this would be a very valuable to make a place where design was um, viewed by mm. young designers, students, mm. and by school children. Design should be part of the school curriculum along with technology and craft. Terence, thank you.